Welcome to this quick tutorial on the basics of Glorify. Let's start by showing you around our interface. On the far left, you've got your main tools. On the top left, you've got your file settings. On the top right, you've got your feedback comments tool, your share, export, and present mode options. Next to that, you've got your zoom widget. This allows you to quickly zoom out and zoom in, as well as select from a list of different zoom options. Finally, you've got the focus zoom option. This is a convenient way to get back to your work area in case you get lost in our canvas. Once you get lost, simply click Focus Zoom. And next we have the Edit and Navigations panel. Within the Edit tab, you can edit any selected element on your canvas. The Layers tab allows you to quickly organize your elements and search for any element that you need. And finally, we have the Pages tab, which allows you to switch between different documents inside your file. Here, I've got three different pages with three different sets of designs. I'll navigate to page two, and page three, as you notice, has different designs. Let's go back to page one. Great, now I'm going to show you how to navigate across Glorify's canvas. If you notice on the bottom left, we have the pointer tool selected. This allows you to simply select any element on the canvas. You can also switch to the pan tool. Now you can do this by either selecting the pan tool and dragging around on your canvas to position it accordingly. But a better way to do it is simply stay on your pointer tool and simply hold space on your keyboard and drag around. If you're using a trackpad, you can simply drag your fingers to navigate in the same way. You can also use shortcuts to zoom in and zoom out. If you're on a keyboard and mouse, simply hold Command or Alt and use the mouse wheel to zoom in and zoom out. If you're on a trackpad, simply pinch to zoom out and expand your fingers to zoom in. Now let's explore the canvas widget. Any canvas inside Glorify will have a widget on top. This consists of the title of the canvas and some quick actions such as duplicate and delete, as well as download. Upon clicking the download or export icon, you'll notice the export popover show up. Another way to access this is simply by clicking the canvas and clicking export. Now let's show you how elements interact with the canvas. I'll go ahead and select the star. Notice how the selection box is blue. Now as I drag this element outside of the canvas, it will eventually turn orange. This signifies that the element is outside of the canvas. Notice how on the right hand side there's also an orange icon. Upon hover, you'll see the tooltip element outside canvas. This indicates if you try to download your design of this canvas, this element will not be visible since it's officially outside of the canvas. Let's head over to layers and see how this looks. Notice how this shape is outside of the main canvas. Now, as I drag it back in, it goes inside, outside, inside, outside, inside. This gives you a clear idea of what elements are outside of the canvas versus which elements are inside. Great, so now let's show you how the contextual menu works. Upon selecting any object inside of Glorify, you'll notice the contextual menu above appear. This consists of quick actions such as duplicate, delete, and accessing more contextual menu items. Now to access the same expanded contextual menu, simply right click the element at any given location. Let's go ahead and explore the edit panel. Upon selecting any element on your canvas, you'll notice its unique properties appear on the edit panel. You can control the transparency of the object on the top right and all of the various other properties below. Let's go ahead and change the color of this star. I'll switch it to a gradient. We'll switch it to a linear gradient. I'll select the first color stop, change it to blue, second to green. Notice how you have the gradient handles to control the direction of the gradient. Now let's go ahead and add a border to the star. I'll go over to the border property and click to add. Notice how the property has been added and we have this value field for thickness. The great thing about Glorify's value properties is that you can simply hover over the icon of the value field and click and drag to increase or decrease the values. You can even do this to position and size. As you go down, there's other properties such as rotate, corner radius, and all the other unique properties pertaining this star. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in a future tutorial.